Well, we've closed the door on the meteorological winter 2022-23 and opened meteorological spring. Thanks for clicking on to Vogel's European Outlook for Wednesday, the 1st of March. And uh, the uh, if you go on to markvogelweather.com, um, I do have the newly uh, released March Outlook. Looking back at the winter just gone and indeed looking at the month ahead. Uh, overall, surprising or not, the winter for the UK was generally average. Thanks to a cold December, thanks to a notable cold spell during the middle portion of January, basically that had um, weighed out the balance, uh, counteracting the mild that we've seen with, of course, the cold. So an, a near average winter overall has just been and gone. And uh, it's all eyes, of course, now on uh, the month of March and spring overall. So if you have a look on the website, the um, the article is now fully available, free to any for anybody to read. And it looks in great detail at the winter versus the forecast that I put out, of course, back in the 1st of December here. So plenty of material for you to have a look through and indeed, of course, a talk about the upcoming uh, week to 10 days. The sun is very warming, I believe, is now going to start to show its uh, influence on our weather as we go into the week, uh, the weekend coming up and into next week. Most importantly, area of high pressure that's been so dominant over the British Isles in recent weeks will uh, start to push its way up towards Greenland, I think, over the weekend. Keeping an eye on the system coming in off North America, out in the Atlantic. That feature versus a system on the north coast of uh, of Scandinavia. Those two kind of pushing towards the UK will actually be the reason why we're going to see, or part of the reason why we're going to see this area of high pressure, the stubborn area of high pressure that has delivered uh, probably one of the driest Februarys on record for the UK to drift up towards Greenland. And then we see the Arctic air mass coming through. So you can see here, this is off the ECMWF. This is directly off the article, the, the, the March outlook. And you can see here that with that retrogression of high pressure away from the UK up towards the Baffin Straits, we open the door to a trough an Arctic air coming into the weather pattern here. Not wanting to look too much at specifics as we go through, uh, you know, the weekend and then the next week because I'm unfortunately I'm, all, I'm I'm struggling for time at the moment. But you can see here, this is off the CMWF. This is the two meter temperature anomaly chart here, and showing by <coughs> six o'clock UTC next Wednesday, the model is indicating temperatures as high uh, as low sorry as 10 celsius below average so we could have some very notable cold next week and we also could see some decent amounts of snow as well so the models whether it be the met office gfs the ecmwf the arom the arpeg you know the jma all generally now on board with a cold spell coming through from the weekend and and through pretty much all of next week with some hints of Atlantic air trying to move into the southwest and possibly across the UK uh, next weekend. So, uh, that, of course, that's a long, long way out. Um, but uh, like I say, there's plenty of material there for you to digest at your leisure. This is the um, ECMWF snow forecast um, as of Friday, 1800 next week. And you can see here most of the UK with snow on the ground. It tends to be a little bit overdone, the ECMWF, I think, in terms of snowfall. This is the GFS for the exact same time frame next week here. I do think we have the potential, increased potential, for disruptive snow and, indeed, some very cold temperatures. Indeed, marches in the past have been known to be colder than your average January, and 2013 is a good example of that. So despite the fact that we're now in to the first month of meteorological spring, it doesn't mean, even with the brighter nights, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that we cannot get below freezing days, sub minus 10 Celsius nights and whatnot. Um, there is still plenty of potential winter to come. And this is 
uh, the the CFAS V2 weeklies here. Notice here week two, so this is the 8th to 14 period between the 7th and the 14th of March. Bit of a battle. Trough, Arctic Air, trying to dig southwest. We've got an area of high pressure trying to move up from the Azores here. So the UK could be in a, a battle zone between mild Atlantic air, so subtropical air trying to move in from the southwest via that area of uh, Azores high pressure, or we could be having a trough cold north, northeast, even easterly winds trying to come in from the continent as well. So uh, it's all to play for. My hunch is that we have a colder than normal March overall. And um, we shall watch this space. Interesting time to come. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of things um, coming up over the next week or so here on the channel. We're going to be looking at the potential El Nino developments in um, the next couple of months and also the potential of what that may lead to during the summer. So, um, you know, despite the fact that we're out of winter now, technically the meteorological winter that is, it doesn't mean that winter weather is done with us just yet. In fact, we could still have plenty yet to come. So short and sweet today, of course, uh, hit that like button, uh, share with your friends and family. And like I've already said to you, please do hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate everybody who has already done it. I appreciate your comments. Please drop a comment as well. Let me know what you think of what the winter forecast has been versus the reality what the winter's been like for you. Has it been disappointing? Has it been mild? Has it been cold? You know, um, let me know down there in the comments section below. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you again tomorrow with more. Bye for now.